we apply certain rules regarding public comment. A recent Kansas federal court decision has provided additional clarity regarding standards for public comment, and we have updated our plan accordingly. We will do our best to enforce these rules consistently and without regard to the point of view expressed by the speaker. That brings us to general public comment. Do we have anyone signed up ahead of time? You see? Okay, we'll open it up to the room. Is there anyone who would like to give general public comment? You can come on up and give three minutes. My name is Dr. Justin Spies. I've got a question for you. There you said that uh, you're going to do your best not to engage in viewpoint discrimination based on the content of what people say. Back in April, someone came in here and held a sign up here while they talked that said uh, no more taxes and you had no issue with that. I've got my sign here. We're tired of the tax increases. Okay. And they want to blame it on the, uh, I'll turn it around here so everybody at home can see. A couple weeks later, I come in with a sign that says, women have more balls than Patrick, too, and you stop me from speaking. My name is Dr. Justin Spies. At last week's meeting, I recorded a public comment more than someone said, Commissioner yeah. Karen Wiley. Quote, Karen, I want to begin I believe, by Justin, saying we're I, not going to allow the sign this time. I appreciate so your sto If you could please demeanor. put it down, that would be wonderful. What's wrong with the sign? You've What's been, wrong with the sign, you've Karen? Been warned. What's wrong with the sign? Do you have any other public comment that is unrelated? I sure do. They said, Karen, I want to begin by saying I appreciate your stoic demeanor and that you give the impression that you're really listening to us, and I appreciate that to no end. She was allowed by this commission to say that without interruption or muting her microphone. After her, I spoke and said the words out loud that are on my sign and was muted. Just so you all allow to put the sign down. Criticism. And I think we're done with your public comment. Thank you very I'm much. Not, I'm you're not welcome allowed to, to say stay. what's on my sign. Thank you. In previous meetings, is there anyone else who would like? On the commission without being silenced, without fear of being silenced, they were I think we could. Be... Like, we're here to thank you for your part. Thank you, Chad. I appreciate the effort you all. Have put is there anyone else who would like to give public comment? Since Justin, Justin you're with this one. Justin, you can stay for the meeting with us, but your public comment is ended. Why is it ended? So the chair is going to call on the next person why for public why comment. Is my comment? This, this is protected speech. Why is my Sarah, this is protected we need to get. Speech. You guys realize what's happening, right? Okay. First Amendment's getting taught in Douglas County tonight. I'm exercising my First Amendment right to speak to you guys. And it's happened to be criticizing. But if I was saying, hey, you guys are the best, you'd be perfectly fine. Justin, you're welcome to stay, but you need to take a seat. Are you guys all right? <laughs> is that viewpoint discrimination? Anyways, so my sign here says, vote out tyranny, vote out Shannon Reed, who's up for re-election right now. On the other side here, it says, Sarah Plinsky, you are a Nazi. And it's got your favorite symbol right there. So what tyranny am I referring to? Well, there's lots of tyranny that Shannon has engaged in, but I want to give an example here that during COVID, you all put in mask mandates for children beginning at two years old. The other day, the COVID Select Committee released Dr. Anthony Fauci's transcript. And I wanna highlight a couple of things that were asked and answered. One of the question was, the WHO recommended against masking children less than five because masks are not in the overall interest of the child. And then against children six to 11 from wearing masks because, and again, quoting of the potential impact of wearing a mask on learning and psychological development. Was there ever a cost benefit analysis done on the unintended consequences of masking kids versus the protection that, would, uh, that it would give them? Fauci's answer, not to my knowledge. Question, do you recall reviewing any studies or data supporting masking for children? Fauci's answer, you know, I might have, Mitch, but I don't recall specifically that I did. I might have. Next question, since there's been a lot of studies that have come out since the pandemic started, but specifically on this, there have been significant on kind of like the learning loss and speech and development issues that have been associated with particular young children wearing masks while they're growing up. They can't see their teacher talk and can't learn how to form words. Have you followed any of those studies? Fauci said, no, but I believe that there are a lot of conflicting studies, that there are those that say, yes, there is an impact, and there are those that say there's not. I still think it's up in the air. 
So the party of science, we were, had it drilled into us that this was all science. And you all were referring to Fauci and his guidance. It wasn't even based on science. You all, I used to be a, a professor and I used to teach human development. You all would have failed my human development class because you didn't have any understanding what a mask on a, chi- on a child would do to their development. But we all had to listen to you. Wouldn't even pass one of my classes, but I had to put one on my daughter. Are we allowed to campaign when we're up here talking now all of a sudden? This is campaigning. Why am I allowed to have this sign right now? Thank you. Is there anyone else who'd like to give public comment? This commission is a shame to the county. It's a shame to everybody here. There's progress being made in some areas and no progress being made in others, but none of it has anything to do with the county leaders sitting up here in front. The character of these people don't allow them to be able to see beyond their own biases. The character of these three people don't allow them to simply allow somebody to speak. And the aspect of control expressed on the dais or the little table up there is unnecessary and truly un-American. And you just showed your, I guess, inconsistent enforcement of the rules that you use to shut people down again. Because I just spoke to the character of people in here. I thought that was off limits and got people muted. Girl, to be a man. You are not speaking about items that are specific to the business of the county commission. It's about his character. So. You are attacking his character. It, and this is, is your char- last it's his morning character. to talk about items that are specific to the county commission. Can you explain to me how his character isn't germane to the business of the uh, county? It's not the business of his the character county commission. Is, a commissioner's character has nothing to do with the commission? Is that what you're saying? I'm not going to go back and forth with you, Justin. I've said what I said. Our government has become cowards, and it makes me ashamed of mankind. What a cowardly man that man is. This lady here says, I have more balls than Patrick, too. Please mute the mic, Sarah. Last one here says, Justin, you're welcome to stay with us for the meeting, but your public comment time is over. Thank you. Karen, does your character not allow you to mute me like you do him? What is it about your character that allows you to take so much power when you haven't even received vote one yet? Pretty shameful, isn't it? When you guys pull your head out of your asses and start paying attention to what's going on around here, some things can start changing. But it seems like that's impossible to do, isn't it? Something else that happened there, in case you didn't notice it, I addressed other people. I was talking about you to them. Didn't seem to be a problem this time either. Inconsistencies. Inconsistencies. And I'm going to really, really enjoy testifying to those inconsistencies and helping introduce a lot of the evidence that I've compiled of your inconsistencies. And Patrick, the way you've behaved and the way you guys have tried to make me into the threat, and you you did it with him, and, and you got people to attack him on the street, you know, you dumbasses haven't been able to do that with me. Because there's a few people out here that have known me a little longer than they've known you, because I've been around here for a long fucking time, and I've met a lot of people. And most people know that I wouldn't normally come in here with a sign that says Patrick Kelly's a pussy. But I'm probably going to be reliving that sign again and bringing it back in, because the way you're acting and the way you're needing a police escort to leave this building, trying to make somebody a threat, Is there anyone else who'd like to give general public comment? 
seeing none in the room, Jill, do we have anyone online? All right, we'll close general public comment and bring it back to the commission for our regular agenda. Our first item is an overview of the Bluestem Wellness Building. It's a project from Heartland Community Health Center. 